how do you get the Ethereum app on your Ledger wallet so that you can start sending and receiving Ethereum to your cold storage device? Let me show you in this video. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to ledgerwallet.com forward slash apps. I'll put the link down below in case it updates or changes, but that's what it is. Right now I put it down below. And the way this works is when you first install your Ledger, and if you need help with that, I'll put another link down below. I have a whole video on installation, but once you're up and running, you're gonna notice that you'll see a few options in here. I have Bitcoin, I have Ethereum, um, that's pretty much it. And if you want to add more currencies, um, you need to install them via the browser. So you need to go in here and install them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Ethereum one um, because if you want to do Ethereum, you basically need your own wallet here. So that's what we're going to do. So what you want to do is go here and, and click Ledger Wallet Ethereum. If you're in the Chrome browser, which I am and which I suggest you use, it's pretty easy in the Chrome browser to get us here, to so go all the way to the bottom and just click install. I'm going a little quick. You can go back and pause if you need to or rewind. And when it finally loads up, you're gonna just add to Chrome the Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Give that a second. Add app, let that go. And as you can see, it is adding this app here. I already have installed the Bitcoin wallet to send Bitcoin and altcoins, and now we're doing the Ethereum wallet. Also, in case you're just doing this right now and you don't have the Ledger Manager, you're gonna also want that. That's how you manage installing all new apps. If you wanna put Zcash or One Day Monero on here, um, you can go here and install those. So that's what all these apps are. You and me right now, we're just looking at Ethereum. So I'm gonna click this Ethereum wallet, let it launch, there we go. So that's launching. Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Important notice. Due to the temporary instability of our Ethereum nodes, we recommend our users use Ledger integration of my Ethereum Ether Wallet. That makes sense. Um, that's actually how Trezor, the Trezor, which is the competitor, also works. They use my Ether Wallet. So you're using this device, but you're using this other um, open source project to go to, to as the interface. So let's do that. What other choice do we have? <laughs> All right, cool. So now we're here, we're at my ether wallet and we're going to create a new wallet. So it's saying enter a password and it wants a password. Uh, for this, also pause one second, not really pause, but just listen. Um, you do wanna pay attention to this stuff up top. People do get fished and, and scammed and hacked, so don't get fished. It's saying bookmark this page so that you don't accidentally type it wrong, go to myethernwallet.net or some crap. Um, and you also wanna always make sure that you're going to the right site. Like all the time on the internet, you just wanna, you know, when you're doing something with money or important, so that is important. You could read more at the top. There's some other steps with MetaMask and things that you could use. I'm gonna leave that for your safety, FYI. For creating the new wallet with my Ether wallet, what you're going to do is make a password. And I like to use, well, I already have an account, but I'm gonna just use a new password I'll sh to show you. So basically, I would just take some new password. I use one password to make new passwords. Um, you could use whatever you want, but just make sure it's really secure. Paste in your new password and hit create wallet. Obviously, you wanna save that password somewhere really important. I'm gonna put mine here in my one password, but just put it somewhere important, obviously, right? Goes without saying. 
It's going to ask you now to download your key store file. This is literally your private key. You want to keep this safe. I can read it here. It says, do not lose, do not share, make a backup. Yeah, it may be worth a million dollars one day, maybe. Um, you wanna be really secure with that. Maybe put it on a hard drive or something that's not connected to the internet. Just do whatever you can to be safe with that. You're going to need that also if you ever wanna recover stuff. So make sure you have that. Take a second, this is important. Don't lose that. It's also gonna tell you to save your private key. So what we just did was we downloaded the private key in a, basically in an encryption. And now you have that, you have that encrypted version. And this is another version of your private key. You're gonna want both of these. They're gonna help you if you ever need to restore. So make sure you have these somewhere safe, just in case for the future. Once you have that, you can go and unlock your wallet to see your address. We have quite a few different options here, but um, this is what we're using, Ledger Wallet. So choose the Ledger Wallet, connect to the Ledger Wallet, Actually, I just had a little bit of problem clicking this and I got an error, it didn't work for me. Um, and so if you have that, there was some really helpful um, you know, troubleshooting. And what you can do is you can restart Chrome or restart your whole computer or first what I would suggest, which worked for me, is if you go when you're in here and you click on Ethereum, right? Click on Ethereum. If you go to view wallet, settings, you're going to see these two options here. One is going to see contract setting and one is going to say browser support. If you go into both of those and click browser support and contract setting up or yes, so yes for both of them, not up. Um, so yes for both of them, that was all it took for me and I did connect to Ledger and boom, this is what you need to access to send and receive ether onto your ledger. So if you did this, all's good in the world, yeah? If not, give that another try, restart, see if that does it, maybe that will do it. Um, and you can read a little bit more on that link right there. All right, great. Hopefully that was helpful in getting you set up with ether on your ledger. If you do have any more problems, restart, see if that does it, give it another try. I'll put some links down below. I teach courses at onemonth.com. If you wanna learn more, learn how to code with me or learn about cryptocurrencies, you can do it there. If you like this video, you can subscribe on YouTube and I'll be putting out more videos every week in the future, from now to the future. And I have thousands in the backlog, or at least a few hundred um, that you can check out. So check those out. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful. Peace.